The basic title is actually what you probably need and what you should probably look at using instead of just text plus. Don't get me wrong, I love using text plus and that's honestly what I use most of the time because I do a lot of motion graphics with it and the text plus effect gives you the ability to animate pretty much everything about the text. In the basic text effect, you don't really get that ability but you do get a lot more handy features using it, so if you're someone that isn't going to be really heavy into motion graphics, while well, the basic text effect doesn't actually give you the ability to animate everything on it, it does however make it a lot easier to change stuff and make it look how you want it to. So in DaVinci Resolve, come up to Effects, and we'll look for Text. So here's your Text Plus. I'll just show you how that looks right here. You get everything over here in the Inspector, you can open that up here where everything there is pretty much one of these little diamonds is the ability to keyframe. So you can animate everything here, but it makes it kind of confusing. There's so many different features in here and you have all these other little settings you have and like under shading, I mean, there's all these other things. There's a lot of stuff in here that you probably don't need. And if you wanna just make something really quick and simple, it makes it very hard. If you go in here and say you wanna just change title. You don't want to change custom title. You just highlight it, click the color. Let's say it'll go blue. It makes everything blue and it gets really annoying. You can adjust this, but you have to go into fusion and it just becomes really complicated for a lot of people. So let me show you what the basic text effect allows you to do. We'll just come over to our basic title and drag that down on our timeline. As you can already tell in the inspector window that there isn't as many things that you can edit in here but it simplifies it a lot. So for instance, you have your stroke. We can go ahead and add a color to that. Let's go with red. Just up that size. Oh, we can also add a drop shadow. Well, since we're on a black background, let's just go with white. And you won't see anything at first, so just make sure to adjust this offset right there. And then you should be able to see that shadow. You can increase it. All the stuff, like you can do this in text plus, but being right here just makes it so much more simple. And of course you can do backgrounds. I know this is ugly, but just for demonstration purposes, you can get really, really customized with this thing. And you still have the ability to animate a few things here in the basic title. So like I said before, if you see anything with one of these diamond icons on it, that's a keyframe. So you just place the playhead at the beginning, hit the keyframe, go towards the end or wherever you want it to happen on the timeline and just adjust that. And then now we can play it back and it slowly animates that outline width. Like I showed you earlier inside text plus where you can't animate individual words or characters, you can actually do that here inside the basic title effect. So just come up to your words, highlight whichever one you want to change. We come down here and look at that. We can choose any font we want. All these fonts are connected to your computer. So if you want a new font, just install a new font onto your computer and it will automatically update inside DaVinci Resolve. But we can also still change colors. Obviously I have the stroke on here, so let's get rid of that. So we don't have the stroke on there. We can adjust the tracking, pretty much everything here. Now, if you try to adjust the position, it's going to do everything on here. So you don't really have that ability. Another thing to be mindful of, if you say deselect the text by accident and you go to make an adjustment like the size or the color, it's going to change it on all the words there. So do make sure that it's still highlighted when you wanna make a change to just one particular word or character. Well, this may be as mind blowing for you as it was for me. There's a couple other things you can do inside here that I didn't realize you could do. For one, you can add emojis. If you're on a Mac, you probably already have accidentally hit that annoying little button that just automatically pops up all the emojis. So you can use it that way if you're inside the text editor. But if you're like me on a Windows, you can access it by hitting win and period, and that will pop up your emojis. And we just go through here and select one. Let's go with like this guy. And it added him inside of our title. Now you saw that there was like GIFs and everything else that you can select from that box. However, it won't be able to actually work inside DaVinci. It's really only the emojis that you can use. Another thing is the emojis only going to look like what the emojis are on your computer. So if you're on a Windows and if you're on a Mac, emojis will look like 
those on that machine. So you can't really customize those unless there's a way to do a specialty font for emojis and install that on the computer. But honestly, I haven't really tried that and I don't know if you can do that. If you have done it or you're gonna try it, let me know in the comments and tell me if it actually works. There's one other thing that's really cool with the basic title. You're probably familiar if you wanna change the position of titles inside DaVinci. You can do that with just this position over here or you can come up to settings. You can just adjust your zoom and your position or if you're really fancy and you know about this little button right here for the transform to toggle that on. If you don't see it, it's just this drop down menu and just select transform. With it highlighted, you're able to just take these little dots here, move things around, you can rotate or whatever and just drag and move it around, which is awesome, but you also have to go through the hassle of making sure to click this on and off so you don't accidentally mess up with any footage that you have below. But basic title lets you do this without actually using the transform feature. Let me show you. All you have to do, make sure you don't have the transform on, obviously, and just click and drag the title around. And the greatest thing is, is that this thing snaps. You can just drag it and it snaps to all these little grid points on here and makes it really handy if you're trying to align things. And then you can still rotate with that little icon up there. And yes, you can still resize. However, for some reason, it really only affects the text itself when you resize. But it's really, really cool that you have this capability inside just the basic text effect in DaVinci Resolve. I wish I found this sooner because there's so many times I've taken Text Plus and gone through Fusion, made so many changes and taken almost 30 minutes at times just to get what I can get in maybe five minutes just using this basic text effect. If you found value in this, leave a like on the video and check out this video popping up right here that the algorithm thinks you'd like to watch next. Until next time, I'm Hayden, off with a zine.